Good morning, Aquarius. First of all, I want to say that <laughs> Thursday I had a couple skin tags removed from under my eye and it was really, really bruised, really swollen. So I've been wearing glasses while I do my videos <laughs> when I left them in the car. I don't feel like going out there, but nobody did anything to me. I know it looks horrible. I've been like this for almost a week. I'm waiting on it to heal, so I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the way. Um, second of all, um, I've been guided to use my rooms this month. Um, so I really had to do a lot of extens extensive um, preparation. I made um, a cheat sheet so that I know what each one of the runes are. Um, and the, the messages have been really, really clear um, using the runes. Like I might use these again next month because they have really made for some really nice videos. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and shake them up. I haven't gotten that one before. That's a new one. So the first one, one that we have is the one that I said I've never gotten before, and it's called Jera. Um, keyword here is year. Um, it means cycles, right action, harvest, legalities, reward, peace, and commitment. So the first word that um, really struck me was the word year, um, because 2020 has been quite the year, hasn't it? Um, I mean, there have been, you know, a lot of people that have been like, oh, no, this is like <laughs> the end of the world. Armageddon is coming. The rapture, you know, whatever, whatever religious beliefs that you grew up with. Um, a lot of people <laughs> are like in that energy, like, oh, man, this is like that revelation energy, you know, and a lot of people are like really freaking out about it. Um, but this year has been um, a year of reckoning. Um, a lot of people um, have really came out with um, what they believe. You know, it's been all about the belief system, the belief system that, you know, we grew up with, stuff that we really believe to be true um, from children all the way up until, you know, you get to the age where you start questioning things. Um, this has been that year and people have been speaking their truth like never before. And so there has been, you know, a lot of calamity and a lot of clashing. Um, but I'm here to say that this has also been an amazing year of self-discovery on an individual level, which has affected the collective. Um, that self-discovery of really checking in with what your beliefs really are. And... Um, and sometimes even shifting, you know, your mindset, um, opening your mind up, um, expanding your your consciousness and realizing that um, you may not always be right. Just like, you know, everyone else may not always be right, but everyone is at their own level of consciousness. So we shouldn't judge that. You know, even if somebody is marching up and down the streets wearing a hate costume and you know, declaring their hatred for a, a subgroup of humanity. Just don't pay any attention to it because, um, you know, as long as nobody is infringing on your rights, I mean, you know, you hate to say it, but, you know, that is their right to do that as long as, you know, they're not hurting anybody. Um, so you really have to um, not judge because we don't want to be judged. So let's not judge either. And like I said, we each have our own journey, our own path. Um, we were incarnated into the families that we were incarnated into for a reason. Um, because we are the universe experiencing itself, experiencing humanity. So with that being said, <coughs> In this particular lifetime, um, those particular groups of people, that is what they signed up for. So with that being said, everything is playing out in this huge production, just like it's supposed to. So try not to judge. Sorry, that was a little lengthy. All 
All right, we have Manaz. Keyword here, man. Divine union, manifestation, the self, modesty, thought, altruism, and creative. So keyword here, man, was the first thing that struck me. And this could be woman, human. Um, <clears throat> this has also been the year to really um, face one's mortality. Um, this this year has really, you know, it's really kicked up a lot of hornet's nest, you know, with this virus and all. And people have really uh, faced their fears of getting sick, of dying. And um, really facing the fact that these human bodies that we're in, which house, you know, who we really are, um, are temporary. And not only are they temporary, <clears throat> but on the larger scheme of things, everything in the physical world is not even real. It's almost like a projection, like a, like a movie projector. And so if you can kind of look at it from that point of view that nothing is real um, and everything is real abstract. Like we give meaning to things. Nothing has meaning unless we give meaning to it. So, you know, you can have a situation that happens and you can have, this This is the reason why, like if there's ever like an accident or like a robbery or something, everyone gives a different account. And the reason why people give different accounts is um, their upbringing, um, their belief system, um, because we see, um, we see things through like our own filters. So as soon as, you know, you see something, you give meaning to it and someone else might not give the same meaning to it, which is, um, this really creates problems in our physical relating experiences with others because we expect them to have the same filters we do. And I feel like this is really affecting you, too, in your relationships with others, Aquarius, because um, you expect them to see things from your point of view. And you do tend to be one of the higher vibrational signs um, as far as awakening, as far as consciousness. And you always have been. There's, you know, the age of Aquarius. There's just something about Aquarians that they have just always been more tapped in um, to the spirit world. Um, and so you see people who are at a lower vibration, lower, um, lower level of consciousness, and try not to judge that because we all awaken at our own um, pace. We were all incarnated here with soul amnesia, forgetting who we are thinking that this is who we are and this is all there is. So try not to judge. All right, I have drag. Keyword here, day. Dawn, intuition, light, breakthrough, growth, cosmic, and consciousness. This is kind of what I was talking about, Aquarius. But this year, you have really leveled up this year. Um, you have really leveled up and um, really discovering what you like and what you don't like. Things that you thought that you liked and you thought that you wanted, once you manifested them, you're like, eh, no, this is not it. Um, and, you know, it's a crazy thing when you manifest things that you have just wanted forever. And they come in and you're like, eh. I'm not even feeling that anymore. I moved on to something else. That's the energy I'm getting here. Um, where you are just, you know, you're manifesting right and left. Um, but one thing is coming up. You really need to clear out that victim consciousness, that victim mode. Um, stop feeling like everyone is or anyone, you know, um, has ill intentions towards you. Um, it's like the suspicious energy. Um because that will manifest into situations that you do not like. And it makes it very hard to open up to love, to open up to um, a romantic partner, to really um, be present there, to really open yourself up. 
if you are kind of cautious and playing it safe. Um, that is like one of your biggest blocks right now besides the judgment. And I'm not getting on you because every, as humans, we all judge. And when we judge, we are judged because um, we're putting that signal out there and it's coming back to us. It's like a reflection. So be very careful of that. All right. And it's also that judgment that's leading you to be paranoid. And the fact that there's something about um, feeling like, you know, being suspicious of others. There's something in you because we are what we create and what we create is a reflection of where we're at right now. I'm not saying that, you know, you're messy or um, like backstabbing or backbiting or anything like that. Um, and please don't be triggered by, <laughs> I hate to trigger people. It's just, I'm the messenger. Don't kill the messenger. But if there's anything at all like that, you know, and it can be something as simple as someone tells you something and you can't hold it. You tell someone else and you don't mean to. It's just kind of you can't help it. <laughs> I mean, we've all been there. Like you just can't wait to tell somebody. It can be something like that. And because you are that way or you have done those things, you expect those things from others. But that has to do with your filtering system where I said um, you expect other people um, to be the same as you. And like I said, I hope I didn't trigger anyone. Don't kill the messenger. All right, so we have <clears throat> Oh, don't tell me. Oh, I, did. I was like, please don't tell me I missed another one. I had to look up on my phone yesterday. We have um, Ihuaz and I know I'm not pronouncing this right. Ihuaz it means horse, keyword horse, twin gods, um, relationships, progress, future changes, movement, and trust. Sorry, I, I've got these neighbors across the street, and all she does is yell and scream all day long at her kids, her husband. I just don't know how they live that way, so I apologize. I try to get started early before they get up and get moving around. <coughs> I don't know how they live like that. So we have relationships, progress, future, changes, movement, and trust. So um, distrust is, is really coming up right now as like your biggest block. Now understand, I used to have that situation too, and I really had to work through it. As long as you are making things issues, they're going to be issues. So in your personal relationships or in this particular romantic relationship that I'm picking up on, um, once you trust and really let go and really open up, it's really going to level up. But you have to get past your own insecurities. And, and, and I feel like it's because of the past. You've had relationships in the past <clears throat> where somebody was disloyal or cheated, lied, whatever. Um, stole from you. I mean, that's coming up for somebody. So now um, you're very, you know, very cautious and very paranoid, very distrustful. And it's almost like you're going out on a limb to find out things. Now, whatever you go searching for, you're going to find. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you because that's the energy that you're in and you are a co-creator. Now, understand you're creating situations as you go. The first thing you need to do is let go of the past because this particular journey that we are all on does not build on itself. What happened yesterday has nothing to do with what's happening today. They're two completely separate things. Don't try to figure out what happened yesterday so you know what to do today. Let that go. That was the vibration you were in yesterday. That's what you attracted yesterday. Today you're going to attract something higher vibrational. So with that being said, um, what you need to do is first of all, release the past. Second of all, whatever you make an issue is an issue. If you stop making it an issue, it will stop being an issue because you're feeding it and you're focusing your energy on what you don't want instead of what you do want. So really shift that. 
All right, we have Inga's uh, keyword seed. It means hero, the god, fertility, peace, and plenty. <coughs> We as humans, we fight against loss. We are scared to death. I'll let you see that. It's really cool. Huh? We are scared to death. We're going to lose something or somebody's going to take something from us. You cannot lose what is yours by divine right. I'm telling you, this helped me so much, so much. I still have to tell myself this daily. What is meant for me, I will have. I cannot lose what is mine by divine right. So if you are supposed to be with this person, you will be. If you are supposed to have that job, you will be. Um, if you're supposed to have that car, that house, whatever it is, you will have it if it's meant for you. Sometimes something better is meant for you. Um, the, the big problem we have as humans is that we get attached to things. And we get attached to things that might be temporary. And none of this is real anyway. <laughs> it's all a movie projection. You know, why, if you at any given moment can have, like, let's say, five different outcomes to a particular moment in time, it could go five different ways. I mean, it can go, like, more than that, but I'm just saying, I mean, it can be many more, but like, let's just say five. Why would you get attached to just one? Now, if you're attached to just one because there's a particular person in it, then you are addicted to which is nothing more than codependent energy to that particular person. That's not love. That's addiction. And so you really need to work on it. And sometimes we have to fall back. Sometimes we have to completely detach, which is hard, but it can be done, um, to really release that energy, to kind of let it flow. If you are meant to be together, you're going to be together, and you can't control it. You can't worry about it. You can't be obsessed about it. You have to just be free, free flowing. All right, so we have August, keyword elk. Protection, sanctuary, friendship, optimism, aspiration, fortunate, and soul. First word here, optimism. Optimism is going to be very important um, because once again, what you focus on becomes so if you have this negative self-talk, guess what's going to happen? Um, you really need to work on that negative self-talk and really be the observer of your thoughts for a while. Be the observer because whatever your feelings are going to follow your thoughts. So if you're feeling shitty, it's because of what you're telling yourself right now. So that is where you need to start. Really have this um, regeneration of your mind. We're triune beings, mind, body, and spirit, and they work together. Um, but the mind is where, you know, we create our reality. Um, and then our bodies are just the vessels and the spirit is who we really truly are. All right. We have Oh, please tell me I did this one. May yeah, I found another one. Oh, I was going to say, may I have found another one I haven't done. That happened to me yesterday. All right, we have Wunjo or Wind. Keyword Wind. <clears throat> Kinship, heritage, joy, harmony, blessings, affection, desire. So, in order to have this joy, um, you have to have gratitude in your heart. You have to look around. Instead of focusing on what you do not have in your life right now, you need to really be grateful for what you do have. Look around. Find things every day to be grateful for. Start um, a gratitude journal. Write down a few things a day. Um, and this really will help you shift into that energy. Um, gratitude is a magnet. Um, if you focus on what you do not have, the universe matches energy. And, we, you know, we are the universe, so we're doing it. Um, then you're going to have the experience of wanting something that you do not have. But if you look around you and find things to really be grateful for, and the things that you do desire, believe me, uh, the universe knows. 
we know on a soul level you don't have to focus on it you don't have to control it you don't have to do anything all you have to do is focus on what you do have be grateful for it um, <clears throat> shift your thoughts and your worries away from the thing that you want that you don't have don't don't worry about it because it is yours already Sorry, my clock's going off. It's been a noisy morning. Um, well, Aquarius, if you would like to have a personal reading, they are $30 this month. Rooms or cards. I'll put my email address in the description of the video. Sorry, my clock's going off. It's really loud. Thank you for watching.